Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We think we're going to get into heaven because we walked somebody across the street. We, go, we think we're going to get into heaven because we passed out some food. Not even knowing those holidays that celebrated in this earth, we ain't even supposed to be celebrating that. Because that's not our culture. Right. Your culture is Passover, Hanukkah, Purim, the new moon, the Sabbath day, which is today. Right, right. Not Thanksgiving, not Valentine's Day, not birthdays, not Christmas. When you celebrate those other days, you are worshiping another God. You don't even know. Everything this Bible says is going to happen. So, knowing that, because it said the times are refreshing, this place will get destroyed. So if you want to be delivered when that destruction comes, you must do what God says. Do y'all understand that? You must do what God says. Go ahead. No, he's not going to stop it. I'm going to show you that. Uh, finish reading that. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive unto times of restitution of all things. So he's not going to stop that. Why? Because that's part of his plan. You got to understand. Come, come close. Come close. Come close. Slavery, they tell you they start slavery off with two dates. They say 1492, this is when the Hispanics was rounded up, put in slavery by the Spanish. That's right. 1619, they say that's when it started for the blacks. But when you, hold on, Baron, hold on, Baron. But when you really dig deep, 1441, they was putting us in slavery. This is in a book, 1441. So way before 1619. So follow me what I'm saying. These nations, these other races of people, been doing this to us for years and years and years. We, I need you to hold on. I know you got a lot to say. Just hold on. We are the people of God. So God been sitting back watching them destroy his people. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This place is getting eviler and eviler and eviler. Just like during the times of Noah, when it got so bad, he said, all right, I got to hit the switch. I'm finna kill everything. He's going to do that here again. And if you want to be delivered, you must be keeping God's commandments. Give me um, Romans 6, 23. You must be keeping the commandments. That's the only escape. If you're not doing what God says, then you're going to feel that judgment. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. It said the wages of sin. You work, you get a wage, right? Wage is a payment. So when you sin, there you go. So when you sin, your reward is death. When you keep the commandments, you're given what? Eternal life life. Y'all want to get into heaven, right? How do you get into heaven? Matthew 19, 17. How do you get into heaven? For everybody out here listening under the sound of my voice, you want to get into heaven. The Bible has the answer. We think we're going to get into heaven because we walked somebody across the street. We, go, we think we're going to get into heaven because we passed out some food. Not even knowing those holidays that celebrated in this earth, we ain't even supposed to be celebrating that. Because that's not our culture. Right. Your culture is Passover, Hanukkah, Purim, the new moon, the Sabbath day, which is today. Right, right. Not Thanksgiving, not Valentine's Day, not birthdays, not Christmas. When you celebrate those other days, 
You are worshiping another God. You don't even know. Because our people don't read. Read this. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? He was asking Christ, what do I do to get into heaven? That's eternal life. Read. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. Uh -huh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandments. That's how you get into heaven. You got to keep the commandments. Now you had your hand raised. Go ahead. This is something, this is something uh, I always had on my mind. And, 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 and I just, you know, I really don't understand it. Excuse me. God, they say God created the world. They say the devil was one of God's angels. The devil had disobeyed God, so God passed him out of heaven. So they say the devil was here to ruin, destroy, and kill. If God has more power than the devil, how come God don't stop the devil from doing the things that he's doing? That's All right, I'm Baron. Doing. Now I'm going to answer the question. That right there comes from Christianity. Follow what I'm saying, because I thought the same thing before what I knew now. That's Christianity. That's Greek mythology. You familiar with Greek mythology? How they talk about, okay, you ever heard of Hercules and all of that and Zeus and all that? That's what they say with Hercules and Zeus. Hercules wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. He got kicked down from Mount Olympus and all this, and then they twist it with the Bible. The Bible don't talk about that. Now, let's talk about First, let's read this, and then we're going to go into that. What is the devil role? Because people think, oh, Satan got kicked out of heaven. He fighting God. No. Contrary-wise, Satan is on his job. Satan got to do whatever God tells him to do. But Satan has children here doing his will. There are children of the devil in the world. We're going to show you who that is. Read this first. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Read it again from the top. Know ye not. That the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Unrighteous means sin. Those people that sin, they not getting into heaven. Now, Paul is finna name some sins. Read. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. Fornicators are those people that have sex outside of marriage. So that include boyfriend and girlfriend. When God talk about a man and a woman being together, what you think he talk about? What, what is that called? What is it called? It's one word. You still ain't saying it. You think it's too hard. What's the, what, what word? Marriage. Anytime God talk about the man and the woman being together, it's talking about marriage. Not boyfriend and girlfriend, not side piece, not my little things across town. No, marriage. So if you in the midst of having a boyfriend, a girlfriend, thoughts, holes, all of that, that's fornication. So if you're in the midst of that, you're not getting into the kingdom of God. Y'all follow? Let's read on. Read. Nor, nor idolater, nor idolaters, meaning you worship other gods. I'm going to show you some idolatry. This right here, this Christianity. When you follow Christianity... That's coming with another God. You're worshiping this, and this is a lie. What else come with Christianity? Christmas, Easter. When you dig deep into those days, those are holidays for other gods. This is stuff our people don't know. That's idolatry. Read. Nor adulterers. Adulterers. You like to sleep with other people's spouses. A man sleeping with another man's wife. A woman sleeping with another woman's husband. That is adultery. If you are doing that, you will not get into the kingdom of God. Read. Nor effeminate. 
nor effeminate, a man who is who has womanly traits, you will not get into the kingdom of heaven. Read. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That's the same sex lifestyle. If you are in the midst of that, you will not get into heaven. This is what this is we we don't know this as a people. They not teaching this in church. Those all those sins that you read, everybody be doing them in church. That's why people keep going to church. Cause in church, you don't tell nobody what you're doing wrong. But God says to point out the sin. That's right. Last scripture. Get Isaiah 58 and 1. God says to point out the sin. That's, that's a place where you become a devil at because you're not following God's rules. Read. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions. That's what the pastor supposed to do. Transgressions is sin. Pastor don't show you your sin in church. You get a sing, a dance, a motivational speech, and then you leave. The man of the Lord that you read about in the Bible, they showed you. Hey, bro, you can't do that. That's sin. That's what we're doing. So we must know what we're doing wrong. So what? So we can get into heaven. Right. Now, Job 1. Because you, you asked the question about God and the devil. I'm going to show you the devil plays, how God deal with, devil, with the devil and everything. It's not that whole thing that's made up. That's what I was trying to tell you in a nutshell. That's made up. Read the book of Job, chapter 1 and verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. So the sons of God, that's the angels. Satan is an angel. So guess what? Satan being an angel, who he got an answer to? He's one of the evil angels. So all the angels came and met with God because God made the angels. He made man. He made animals. He made everything. So he having a meeting with the angels. Read. And Satan came also among them. Why? Because he's an angel. God made him. He don't get to do whatever he want to do. That's why I say I heard that same thing coming up. You older than me, so you've been heard it a hundred times. That sound like a damn cartoon. But that's what they tell us to lead us away from the truth. That's right. How is Satan going to fight God and God made him? It don't make sense. You see what I'm saying? That's why our generation got to start asking questions. Our people have to start asking questions. Right, right. Read. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? If he fighting God, follow me. He fighting God, right? That's what they say. How is God able to come to him like, man, where you been at? Think about when you used to come in the house when you was young. Your mom like, Desire, where you been at? If Satan fighting God, Satan would have said something back. Satan would have been like, I do me. He asked Satan, where you been at? Where you been? Read. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth. From going to and fro in the earth. The Bible tell you Satan lurketh about seeking whom he may destroy. But that's for another topic. How Satan go about lurking? Satan will jump on you if you're doing what? Sinning if you're not following what God says. That's right. He'll jump on you, then you'll do something that's not pleasing to God, and then death is the end result. Jump down to where Satan was asking him, can he attack Job? I think it's up there somewhere. Yep, read that. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, does Job fear God for not? So eventually in this meeting, God was talking about his servant Job. When you read about the prophet Job, Job was perfect. Job did everything that God said. So they had a meeting, and God like, you know about my servant Job, Job on point. Read. Hast thou not made a hedge about him and about his house? So Satan like, no, nah, God, I don't think Job on point. Job only on point because you protecting him. Again, if he fighting God, why is he, uh, he's about to ask God, can he do something to him? If he's fighting God, that means he's doing whatever he want to do. Clearly, Satan is under control here. Read. 
Thou hast blessed the works of his hands. So Satan, like the only reason Job is perfect and he do everything you say is because you blessing him. Read. And his substance uh -huh. is increased in the land. Uh -huh. But put forth thy hand now and touch all that he has. Satan say, but if you stop blessing Job and stop doing all them good things for Job, God, Job going to turn on you. Satan basically asking, uh, God, can I start messing up some stuff in Job's life? If Satan fighting God, why he asking God for permission? Do y'all see this? That's why that whole thing, oh, they was fighting, and then he kicked them out of heaven, and they battling. That's cartoon white man movie magic. That's what that is. The Bible don't talk about that. Now, those people that... Job 9 to 24, and then we're going to switch. Those people, because I like to ask that question to see if my people going to voice who those people are. The people that put this in the earth is the same people that did this to you. It's the same people that do not want you to know that you are the real Jews. What does the Bible call them? Job 9 24. The book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. God said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who rules the earth right now? Say what? Say it on the mic. The Caucasians. The Caucasian race is the ones that rule the earth. So if you rule the earth, you get to put the image out of however you want Jesus to be, even though the Bible says Jesus looked like this. You rule the earth, you're able to keep certain books, certain knowledge and certain history away from the real people of God, which is us. That's why today people are finding out what? That we are the real Jews. But that history, that knowledge was kept away from us by who? Read it again. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. The, that wicked race that is ruling the earth. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Read. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges, the real kings, the real people of God. He covered their faces. Look real close. What is this white man doing in this picture? Come here, my brother. Not only drawing some, look in the back. That's a picture of Jesus in the back. What is he painting right here? He's painting a new picture of Jesus as white. They put that all throughout the earth. That's a lie. That is a lie. And the, the, the goal, the mission, was to push that on us so we don't know who we are. That's why we come out here today to show you, no, Jesus Christ is not white. He's black. God is black. The angels are black. You are the real Jews. Finish that up. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So the Bible said, if they not the devil, then who is? They the ones blowing countries up. They the ones making diseases and infecting everybody. They the ones that keep us in poverty. Look at Back of the Yards. Look at Inglewood. Look at Lawndale. Look at Garfield Park. Downtown look like heaven. Why they leave so many abandoned apartments and houses in Harvey? in Inglewood, in Garfield Park, in Austin. Ain't no abandoned houses down there on the north side. Because we are a prey. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation 